Hey guys, Emmy over here, and today we are doing our first impressions on Blue Exorcist Season 2. So let's get started on the video. This video is protected under fair use. All images and music used are owned by their respective owners. So this um, first impressions will be covering the first two episodes that are the only episodes that have been released. I just watched them today um, and they were fantastic. I find the art has definitely improved um, compared to the first season. And just by the beginning um, of the, the first episode definitely takes place not too long after the first season ends, which is kind of nice because um, right now they're just giving um, a recap on everything that is happening. Um, they're helping us remember and jog our memory on certain events that happened. Um, which sometimes some series some do, and then you're kind of just like, oh, what happened? Because for me, it's been a long time since I've watched Blue Exorcist Season 1. So, I mean, it's good for me to get my memory jogged within the first episode. And what we can see from the first episode is, is that a lot of his friends from his school and everything are now, are avoiding Rin, which is our main character, because, um... I don't want to spoil too much, but because of the power that he wields, he is Satan's son, um, of course, and they're exorcists, so Satan and, and exorcists don't really get along together, so now that they know um, Ren is Satan's son, um, they're kind of avoiding him and afraid to talk to him, mad at him for Ren not telling them, and so that's what we see within the first episode. And in the second episode, we can see that Ren is trying hard to um, get those bonds again between each character. And we can see that there will be more growth within each character because they're getting more detail with these characters that we never talked about too much. Like right now, um, I'm forgetting where they are now. I'm just blanking out. Um, Kyoto, I'm pretty sure they are. If I'm wrong, I'll have it somewhere on the screen here. But they're there, and the three monks that were in the series, I forget their names. I'm so bad with names. I guess I should have did some reading up on the characters before I did this. But the three monk characters, that's where they were born. That's their hometown. Um, in the first season, um, you might have heard of the Blue Knight, which also killed many people. And that was in the process of Rin and his brother being born. Satan kind of went a bit crazy and um, killed people. Um, yeah, so after um, the three monks are back at their hometown and everything, they connect with their family and where all the characters are staying, they're staying at the kid with like rooster hair, I'll have a picture of him on the screen, um, the rooster hair, they're at his house and Right now, we're learning backstories about him as a child, backstories on his father, and the way and the reasons why he is, and why he acts the way he does. Like that's kind of what we're learning right now, and which is something that we never saw in the first season. So, which I'm happy to know more about these side characters. Um, what's another thing I can talk about? The opening is amazing. Is catchy, but it's more serious than all the other openings I find. Because the series, the season's gonna be a lot more serious. Seeing that now, Rin um, has shown people that he has this power. Um, Yukino has once wielded this power, so it's obviously gonna return somehow. That's a spoiler for some people. Sorry, um, but he now has to. Try not let um, Yukino has to try not let his Satan powers be released again. Um, right now, they're fighting a new enemy, which is someone other than Satan at the moment. So I'm not sure if Satan will be in play within um, this one character. 
but what I see for the future of this series is I feel like there's going to be a greater enemy that's going to be involved with Satan and of course um, Rin's dream is to destroy Satan. Um, Satan te technically is his birth father, killed his adoptive father and Rin ain't too happy about that. Um, so Rin's gonna do everything in his power to defeat Satan while defeating this new enemy that has been introduced. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. I know I'm not the best at them, but I enjoy making these videos. Um, so, yeah. Alright, bye guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below um, your thoughts on the series or what do you hope to see in the series. Alright.